Everybody's Tyler here at The Wave at WPI, checking in with 8000C HRS Robohawks, looking absolutely phenomenal here this event. One of the best autos I've ever seen uh, in the over-under game. They had a phenomenal season uh, last year with a couple signature event wins, division finalists, and this year, local event win as well, too, so off to a great start in this. Uh, HRS Robohawks made tons of iterations on this robot. We're actually going to be talking about pieces they've taken off, lots of switches, switching over to flywheel. Uh, they had a uh, big hang, big F tier hang that they decided not to move with in this, so we'll be talking about some of that process as we go through on it and learn so much more about this rollout coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Joshua, one of the big centerpieces is your uh, lift mechanism here. So talk to me about what's gone into it, any big changes you made as well. Um, yeah, so one really big important part of this robot is the double reverse four bar. So they're piston activated. If you look back here, it's two pistons here, one and the one here and the other one here, that lift this double reverse four bar. And um, <clears throat> it actually gives us the ability to shoot with the shooter mech and lift if we want to with the F tier hang mech that I will explain later. So when we were looking at designing for this, why was this the right packaging for your robot? We thought <clears throat> the double reverse four bar would um, allow us to have a, an elevated shooter. Okay. We thought that was important to, um, it was, we thought it was important to shoot over um, opponents and uh, we wanted to have not just one purpose with the elevator shooter, we thought a double reverse four bar would help us um, <clears throat> block us, block other people well, and um, we thought we can fit a hang mech on the back of this. Well, that's a good transition to go over to Rogue to talk about your uh, your shooter because you switched from a uh, puncher type to a flywheel on it, Rogue. So talk to me about, uh, first of all, I'd love to hear a little bit about what you had, what you've gone to, and why you made that change. Yeah, for sure. Um, so this, this puncher used to be on this part of the robot here, kind of like Dylan is holding it. Um, and it was actually a little bit more vertical like that because it was very easy to add the the, um, the tri balls right here in this section and the puncher would punch it in a high arc over to the other side of the field um, which was very handy when evading um, blockers from other robots and um, the puncher works with um, a rotating motor obviously and a slip gear inside which would continuously make it punch. However, we did um, change the parts, parts of the robot and we decided to go with a flywheel a little bit later. Well, Justin, talk to me more about the flywheel that you have uh, on there and uh, why you went to the route with the flywheel and is it working any better than what you had before? Um, yeah, so we decided to switch over to a flywheel from this shooter because it was one, you could go as fast as you needed to go. So from this, you'd have like a set amount of time that you could shoot. And with this flywheel, just put it on and it shoots instead of having to wait for that. So we thought it'd be faster. Um, and we had the ability to orientate uh, this flywheel in a way, and it's, it spins this way when it's elevated. So for example, yeah, if you want to put it on. And um, when the lift is down, the flywheel actually spins the, um, like changes the direction and we can spit, uh, shoot out the other way. And Justin, if I can ask you on this, um, when you're doing your match loads for it, how much of a delay is there until you can put another match load on that? Do you have to wait a certain so, amount of time? Yeah, so there's actually no delay. So you could, as, as quick as you can swap your hands, yeah. keep, you know, keep one hand in the field. Um, is that can, just because you you're shoot. gearing or like what attributed it's, to that? It's, um, it's just the constant spinning of the flywheel. It doesn't stop. So as long as, you know, as long as you can put a tri ball on there, it'll, it'll go. So there's no waiting or anything. So the main the main reason we switched was because we could just go as fast as we wanted to. And obviously working out so well uh, or well for you here as you've been doing quite well at WPI. So can't wait to see, uh, of course, as we go into playoffs, what that looks like. Got a couple other great features to talk about. Let's talk about the uh, wings, Dylan, uh, on your robot. And anything else you want to cover? Um, so yeah, these are just wings. We can use them to um, shove balls into the goal. They've been really useful. Also in autons to get the uh, corner ball out. 
uh, that's been really good. And then in addition to the wings, we also have a flip out um, for hanging here. Um, so we can use that to balance on the vertical bar. And before we had this, we just used the wing, wings to balance, but it was a little bit inconsistent. Sure. So we just added this to balance. So, yeah. As we uh, wrap up on this robot here, let's talk about uh, you had a uh, big hang uh, that you had on your robot coming into Wave, uh, but not on your robot currently. So I, I want to hear more about it. And then I also love to hear uh, why you decide to take it off your robot too. Okay, so we had a F tier hang mech um, on the back of the robot. It, was, it actually folds up like this. Back here, just, this just stays here, and this piston actually release. Sorry, and this piston actually releases this, and it flips up like this. And we can uh, have this flex wheel go over the pole, um, and there's a string. There will be string attached um, on this flex wheel, and we have two pistons inside the robot. First one here, and the second one here, which actually shift the gears out to the drivetrain motors, to and uh, connect them to these winches on both sides. So um, this flex wheel self tightens around the pole and um, we can actually winch ourselves up to F tier. Last thing I asked you, Robot, I noticed there's a sticker on the side of your robot that says uh, D-Row for uh, GDC. So why is uh, why are you uh, proting uh, Dylan to uh, take the uh, GDC role? I don't know. It's just uh, we thought it was a cool sticker that we had laying around, so we just slapped it on there. We don't really know the meaning of it because I know it was a while back, and we just got it from a friend in Vexu. Well, Dylan, if you're listening to this, I'll bring the endorsement for you to be on the GDC uh, for that as well. But 8000 c thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs> Tell us more about your team and your robot. Best of luck here at the Wave at WPI. And, of course, can't wait to see how you do throughout the rest of the over under season. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.